How are functional neurological disorders diagnosed? A lot of people still think that the diagnosis of a functional neurological disorder, or FND, is a diagnosis of exclusion. This means that it is diagnosed after doctors have done a lot of tests and cannot come up with an answer as to what is causing the problems. You can imagine that this doesn't give doctors and patients a lot of confidence in the diagnosis. What if the test wasn't good enough? Or the doctors have just ordered the wrong test? But that is not the way it is done. The diagnosis of FND should be made based on positive findings that patients have on examination. One example of this are tremors, uncontrollable shaking of a body part that settle down with distraction. Another example is Hoover's sign. Let's say you suffer from functional weakness in one leg and you are weak when trying to push this leg down. When your doctor asks you to push your other leg up against resistance though, the strength in the affected leg improves. Not only does this approach avoid getting the diagnosis wrong, but it can help patients understand what is causing the problem and what can be done about it. The problem with functional movement disorders is that the voluntary control of movements has gone wrong and the brain is working too hard on them, but the automatic control is still working.